Hey guys, it's HCG Charm, and I'm here to report on my correction days. Um, as you probably already figured out, I ended up doing the biomedic diet for my correction days I started off. And um, I just, I'm actually going to do a two-part series here. One of this series you're watching right now is number one, and this is basically just telling you the information that I have found out. And the research that I've done, I tried to get everything down on paper for you guys and um, help you out in any way I can. Um, the second vlog is going to be a day-by-day -day, um, video as to this week's um, happenings um, on the biomedic diet. So you can see exactly which happen what happened day-by-day. So, um, I am going to be reading through my notes, so I'm sorry if I'm stumbling a lot, but I just wanted to make sure that I got all the information and um, that I didn't step over anyone's toes because of the fact that um, I am um, telling you about each diet and how it works for me, um, and I don't want anybody to think that I'm saying one diet is better than the other because I'm not. They're both um, good in their own way. Um, but I'm just giving you the facts as to what worked for me and what didn't work for me. So, um, so let's start off the, what the biomedic diet basically is. Um, the biomedic diet is basically a combination of the ECA stack, um, which many bodybuilders use. And I'll explain to you a little bit about that stack. And then the other part of the diet is fasting every other day. And um, the protocol on her fasting was basically that you just ate for one hour during the second fast day too. So um, the ECA stack basically raises your heart rate um, and it helps you to get to a better um, fat burning zone. And um, by... Uh, it also helps your body generate more body heat, which um, your body temperature will go up about a degree or two, which 60% of your calorie burn a day is just from generating body heat. So that helps right there to burn the fat. Um, by using the stack, you'll burn approximately 3,000 to 6,000 extra calories per day, which 3,500 calories is one pound of fat. Um, it burns about 80 to 90 percent strictly fat, so it barely touches any of the lean muscle mass, which was one thing that really attracted me. Um, the components of the stack is um, ephedrine, ephedrine um, which is a major um, appetite suppressant, and this is the main ingredient in the stack for both fat burning and energy enhancing. It's still very effective on its own, but it is extra effective when you mix it with caffeine. Caffeine on its own, you will not notice much um, of a difference as far as your burn goes with just the caffeine. But in the stack, along with the ephedrine, you have the most effective and cheapest fat burning stack that is available on the market by far. Um, and they also, in this, this stack of medications, they um, put in aspirin. The reason that they put in the aspirin is to um, prolong the effects of the ephedrine. So otherwise you burn um, more throughout the day versus just for like an hour or half hour or whatever. Um, one thing to bear in mind, however, is that when you stop taking the stack, the stack um, you will have to be extra extra careful with your diet and eat less calories because your metabolism will slow down. It may even slow down slower than um, what it was before you start the stack. So you have to be really careful there. For best results, most of your bodybuilders are gonna tell you um, for best results for the fat burning, 
um, are achieved by cycling um, the stack six weeks on and two weeks off. So um, you might want to consider that. That is not in Selena's protocol or the um, biomedic protocol. Um, but uh, that is just something, again, that from the research that I've done, that's what they're saying is the best thing with the stack. Um, fasting, uh, the fasting part of the uh, biomedic diet really um, turned me on to it also because um, there's just so many benefits to fasting. Um, it increases your energy, it's a great hormone balance, it accelerates um, the ongoing fat loss, it increases muscle mass, um, it has a higher output on your GH, which is also known as the youth hormone, um, and um, it also just stimulates your fat burning hormones. So um, all the way around doing the, the fasting is good. Um, I haven't done, I couldn't find much research on doing the protocol that she's doing where you just eat for an hour during your fast day, your fast day or your eat day, I should say. Um, you fast one day and then during your eat day, you just eat within an hour period. I couldn't find any information on that at all. Um, so I'm not sure if, um, that's a, a good thing for, for everybody or not. I don't think for me it didn't work um, because of the fact that I found that my sugar was dropping and I was having issues with that. So I ended up um, pretty much, I think every day that I was on the fast, um, I ended up having like a teaspoon or a tablespoon or two and some crackers um, of peanut butter and crackers. So, um, again, but that's just me. I, I had a hard time with that. So, um, so I did see the benefits for both the stacking and the fasting. Um, like I said, for me, my body was having a hard time adjusting to the combination or one of the other methods of the weight loss combination. I, I still haven't figured out, um, which it is. Um, it just didn't, I just didn't do well with it. Um, I was really happy with the results of the weight loss though. That was just incredible. I mean, the weight loss, it is, it's astounding. Um, but then again, there was some people that I've been watching that, um, are gaining or lose or not losing or, you know, I mean, it's like with anything, everybody's body reacts differently. So Again, it's a matter of just uh, trying it out or doing what you feel is in your heart. So um, so what I decided, um, because I'm having a hard time with it, I am going to give it one more week. And during that week, I'm going to reduce the amount of the stack to half a dose in the morning and a half a dose in the afternoon to see how my body reacts um, to that. And then I'm also going to add a protein shake in the morning on both days. Um, so that way I don't have the sugar drops that I've been having or the problems with that. Um, and I never have had a sugar issue before. I've never had my body feel like this before. So I'm just trying to figure it out myself. Um, if the method works well for me doing it that way, I might just finish um, finish my weight loss journey that way. Um, however, if I still don't feel right, I'm going to go back to P3 and continue with my HCG. My body did great on HCG, and I feel much, much more comfortable with um, the HCG diet all the way around. Um, it's much safer, and I feel much healthier on it, but... Like I said, everyone's different, and and just do your research and decide for yourself. Um, the other thing that I was concerned with um, is the metabolism um, issue with the biomedic diet. Um, I know that with stacking and fasting, it'll mess with your metabolism, and the whole reason that I was going with HCG is to reset my metabolism and to become healthier and to get my body in a healthier position. Um, so time will tell guys, um, one thing I've learned in life is to never say never, uh, to keep an open mind and you'll always learn from it. 
I am loving learning about my body and how things work. And I loved um, seeing how things work with both diets um, for, for my body. Um, but like I said, what works for one person may not work for another and vice versa. So I'm not saying that one diet is better than the other and what, or one works better than the other. All I'm trying to do is give you guys the facts and tell you what worked for me. Um, that doesn't mean that it won't work for you. So um, definitely research it. Um, you all must make your own decisions. Um, just do the research and follow your heart and you'll never go wrong. And I say that for everything. You know, if you follow your heart and you do your research, you're not going to go wrong. Um, I'm going to put some more information as far as the links and whatnot for the biomedic diet. And um, they have like a Facebook page and uh, she actually has a website too. And I'll put all those links there so you guys can look at it and decide what you want to do yourselves. Um, but please, please, please contact your doctors before trying any protocol, especially this biomedic because um, with the stack, and with the fasting, there are a lot more health um, risks involved. So um, if you have any medical issues at all or think you might have any med medical issues, um, talk to your doctor. I mean, I talked to mine and um, I had a really good um, health history and I still had problems and I still things came up on me that I wasn't anticipating. So I think that it's a... Um, very, very important for you to talk to your doctors before doing anything. Uh, I'm hoping that this is going to be helpful for you guys. Um, and like I said, just research it. I'm really happy. The weight loss on the biomedic is incredible. And I would definitely, if I do stop doing this, because I just can't see it being a long-term thing for me. I think it's great for someone who's just at the end of their weight loss journey and wants to get to the end quick. <laughs> Um, so, I mean, for me, it, it was, um, great. I, I know for me, there is no way that I would have been able to do my 150 pounds on the biomedic, um, only because there's no way my body would have been able to handle it. Um, but again, somebody else might do great. So I can't say one way or the other. Um, but do your research guys. And I hope this helps you. And I love all you guys very much. Um, and just be careful. Be safe. Love you. Bye. And stay tuned for the next video. That's going to be on the day by day for me. Talk to you later.